Hey guys, welcome back to Honey Money SG. My name is Christopher and today we are on another episode of just reflecting about retirement life. Right, so earlier in my episode, I talked about making poor decisions because of your life priorities and career. So in today's episode, I just want to touch on a different thing. Now, let's be clear on this. In my previous episode, I talked about why you cannot retire, right? Because you have limitations, you have things that you have not fulfilled yet, such as your financials. And maybe in your life, there are other priorities that are hampering you from retiring early. But in this episode, I talk about why after gathering all the resources that you have given financial given that you already have good decisions and why you will still not retire. Okay, you see, a lot of people really look rich on the streets, right? In Singapore roads, every 10 car that passes through you, at least one is a BMW, Merce or Audi. But do you realize that a lot of rich people are actually still working in this society? One of the biggest reasons that people are still working is because they feel socially engaged in work. And usually people who have the ability to retire early, most likely they are very successful people with exceptional skills and abilities to engage people in their work or life. So these kind of people, when they suddenly have to take a step back and go into a slower pace of life, they will not get used to it. I mean, let's give an example here. When you are a very highly academic student who achieve really good results, and then suddenly they tell you, hey, you don't need to study anymore. You just need to slack. You have just taken out the thing that keeps this student going, you know, and it feels very out of place for him or her. So it applies the same for retirement life. If somebody is really able to retire early, most likely he have the resources, he have the abilities, and he's a really skilled individual, right? very highly successful person and then you want him to suddenly take a laid back life he will not be able to take it because he gets his energy from doing all this work that has recognized him for his abilities and now that all these have been taken away from him his energy level will stoop to a new low because there's nothing that keeps him motivated in life anymore so he can't possibly be drinking coffee every day at a coffee shop chatting with his mates because all his mates are still slogging out working in the life in the job that they hate and unable to retire at 40, 50s, 60s and whatnot. So these kind of people, instead of retiring being a happy thing for him, he will actually feel quite depressed, quite sad that he's not able to do meaningful work in his life anymore. So what do they do? They go back to work. They go back to society. They go back to the businesses that they are managing and work until their health cannot take it anymore. So that's point number one. Because you're socially disengaged, it will not make you want to retire because you will get bored easily. And secondly, you won't have the motivation to carry on your daily life. Which brings me to my next point, which is why people will not retire. And that's because they don't have a plan after retirement. Now, it's easy to say that when you have a retirement plan when you are young, right? There are so many things that you want to do, right? Having accumulated all the wealth that you have done in your corporate life, working for other people, and even earning your big pay raises and bonuses along the way. And then you say, when I amass like $1 to $2 million, I'll stop working. Or if I strike Toto, I amass that $3 million. And then I'll go and travel the world go and explore places I've never been, bring my wife out on a cruise, go and start an animal shelter if you love animals, all that kind of fancy stuff. But do you realize that all these things can get bought one day? I'm sure you heard of travel fatigue, right? Where there's so much stress in planning for travel because of the flights can go wrong, hotels, they may not be able to accept your reservation, places that you go to are fully booked, transportation, taxi scams everywhere, and the best place that you could probably do and save is probably via a tour group and the tour group downside is there are so many people in the tour that you have to follow their narrative and their structured itinerary and it kind of defeats the purpose of traveling out on your own because tour groups will bring you to places where it's already explored and proven effective and so you get that travel fatigue set in maybe after three to six months because you're so tired of travel you just want to be home and be happy and contented with your retirement life and then what sets in now you're aimlessly living your life day by day without any goal to do. And then let's say you want to start a side business, right? Something to manage it. You'll be back to working mode again because you have to manage the P&L, the profit and loss, your employees working under you, the partners that are working with you or collaborating with you, the sponsors that are providing the finances for you to run your side business. So all this really takes an effort and time on your side and takes you out of the retirement mode and goes into working mode. So do you really have a plan after retirement or just want to do all this stuff that you have been waiting to do and at the end of the day you realize that all this may not be what you wanted so think about it what you want to do as you're approaching retirement for myself it's very simple i hope youtube is still surviving 
because video editing and production takes up a lot of time. I'm sure I have a great and full, full time doing this kind of YouTube videos like this. And most likely, I'm in my white hairs in my 70s or 80s now, advising young people like an old man should. Yeah, so really think about it because life after retirement is not all about enjoyment and just living restless on the day, waiting for the maker to one day take you away. You have to still lead a fruitful life because some of your peers may still be working at this stage and there's no one to really accompany you when your children have already moved out. So I hope you have gained some value from this video and remember to like and subscribe. My name is Christopher. This is Honey Money SG, steering young adults to financial independence.